Yo, what's up? Danny here, One Mission Outdoors. We are sitting in the set down here at the lease, and we got the VXR in the tree, and we got the helmet firing ice arrows, and we are just hanging tight for the evening. Got another spot set up today, but either need a nice buck or a hog, but probably gonna be a hog, just that was my guess, but you never know, so stay tuned. What's up, One Mission Outdoors? Hey, we just smoked a big setup, so stay tuned. We're gonna hang out here for especially till dark, and then we're gonna uh, we'll go look for this bitch. But she was with the smaller boar, so if that boar comes back, I'm gonna shoot him too. Um, but who knows? You never know. You might have a deer come in, so stay tuned. All right, so I was wondering where she went after I hit her. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in and show you guys because I'm pretty sure it's her laying down on the edge of this thing, probably. I don't know, let me range it real quick and tell you how far it is. Fifty yards away she's laying there, it looks like just don't go dead. The slick trick viper tricks with the fire and ice. One deadly combo has done it again. So, hold on, check it out. There she is right there. So, here's the view. And right there. So, I'm just gonna hang tight and see what else happens. Thank you, Lord. I love coming in the woods and harvesting things with my bow. It's an addiction. Bow hunting is. I mean, it's just something about the, the flight of a stick and a string. It's just amazing to me. So, stay tuned for more action. All right, so we just hopped down. We're gonna go over here to the crime scene. Near the fatal impact is happening. See what we can do. See what we see what it looks like over here. So, it's just I love I live for this. I freaking love it, man. I'll tell you what, this is it? Drop the, the J2 berry blend, infused with a little, or I should say drop the protein until it's infused with the J2 berry blend and then doing that and let it go spread a little further and, 
man, I'll tell you what. Dropped it an hour before. And... Boom, got a pig later, so here we go. So as you can see here, that's the initial impact um, right after she was hit. So she ran this way. It was getting a little darker faster than I anticipated. So just to be safe, I'm gonna head back to my truck, grab a flashlight, and then uh, we're gonna go in there. I found where she was laying at. She got up after I videoed where she was laying. But I didn't get a, my arrow stopped at my fletchings on her, on her opposite side. So I'm gonna try to find my arrow first. Then we're gonna go find her. Her thrashing around in the woods pretty good. So we got real good blood where she was laying down. So uh those slick trick viper tricks look like they've done the trick. I just need to grab a light because I don't know if you guys can see, but it got pretty dark. But man, I'll tell you what, if you guys have never hog hunted, go do it. Try to find you a place to go do it. And if you've never done it with a bow, it is so fun to do with a bow. Especially with big hogs, man. Some big hogs are fun. But I will tell you, if you're going to hunt some big hogs, we got a big one out here for sure. So you always carry, especially out here on the lease, if it's legal, I always carry my 357 in case you make a bad shot or something. Because then, uh, you can make a quick follow-up shot with it, but yeah, we just got back here to the truck real quick. Grab a flashlight. All right, got the flashlight, so let's go see what it's looking like over there. I'm trying to do, do better of documenting all this stuff, because, you know, I feel like a lot of these hunting shows you watch are not, they're not real personable. They're not real... I mean, they are really hunting and they're really killing animals, but, you know, we're out here, you know, working hard, paying for a lease, putting in the time and effort, two-hour drive, because that's the closest one we could find that's even decently affordable. So, um, and then, you know, we're out here putting animals on the ground and showing you how we do it, showing you the equipment we use, the feed we use. We're not keeping any secrets from anybody. It's all low fence, no high fence. So, pretty cool. But I'm gonna get back with you when I get back to the, to the spot where I'll, she went in the woods, see if we can get on that arrow, and then see if we can't find it, maybe she's still got it in her, so. All right, everybody, so sometimes you gotta go get a flashlight just to see what happened, but uh, you know, I had initial blood, and then uh, about here, 20 yards, so. Just wanna guys show you, you know, this is a fixed blade, so. I'll show you what you're looking at here. You know, she's gone in here. She's hurting pretty good. Just looking to see if I see my arrow. If I don't. So, we're going to come around to the other side where she was laying down at. So, you can see this is a little bit, you know, more where she came through. Um... I would have thought my arrow came out here somewhere, but hung on something, pulled out, but not yet. And she came through here. And then this is where I filmed her at, where you guys seen her. So, we got good blood here. And she went this way. So, hang on, losing my hat and all this thick stuff. All right, so, a little, uh, little, just show you what happened here. So, she ran across right here, and then she ran through here. You can see some blood in there. So, just to alleviate that a little bit around here. And uh, come in here. So as you can see, she's thrashing around pretty good right here. Um, 
with some blood there. I just gotta see which way she went. Here's the other. All right, so I uh, thought I lost the blood track, but because I had some little bit of blood here, but it turned around on this side. Where is it at? Uh, and I had a little bit of blood here. Little, so I was like, man, what is going on? Because I had that blood there. But then I turn around and there she is. So walk right past her. Um, big sow. Uh, you know, great. I hope I can put my arrow somewhere. I'd like to get that thing back. But uh, yeah, we got to get her out of here. We got to get her to the truck. We got to uh, get her on the scale and, uh, you know, take care of business now. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'll give you a, you know, we'll of the weight here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, so just, you know, when you, when you fall on a blood trail, you know, if come comes around, just look around, you know, I walked right past her and didn't even know it. So, but you know, that's, I don't know, she might've ran 70 yards and piled up. So pretty dang sweet. Um, thanks for watching guys like subscribe share do all that if you want more content like this more tips on you know blood trail and you know you know equipment we use hit us up we're never we're not shy we're not going to keep it all to ourselves so uh, appreciate you guys stay tuned i'll be back with uh after i get her out of here because she looks like she's probably like 200 pounds all right everybody so i was trying to tell you uh you know what where where did my arrow go well Check it out, offside, shoulder, quarter and away. But I'll tell you what I can't get over, and this keeps happening. This is the second animal it's happened to me on. But I lost the broadhead, so I don't know, you know, with the left helical, if it just keeps spinning out, if I got to put some thread lock on there or something. But happened again. This is the second time. Kind of got me questioning some things. So I'm going to have to research that a little bit. But yeah, so perfect shot. She is a giant pig. I don't know if you can see that's my foot there, but she's a big pig. And we're going to get her out of here. All right, so had to go back and do a little further investigating because like I told you, I lost my broadhead. But I went back, found it. There it is. So I don't know. Man, I guess I'll put some thread lock on there or something. But one blade got pretty tore up pretty good but a little chatter but you know what the best thing about slick trick broadheads is buy a new pack of blades and you are ready to rock so we're gonna get the blades replaced on this broadhead but 100 percent did its job we're gonna get it put back in the arrow i'm gonna go pull this pig out because she's a huge i try to pull her out one hand i can't so i gotta do it with two hands and i gotta so i got some work cut out for me but uh yeah found the broadhead pretty cool awesome